Now that we've made our kill counter, we're ready to actually create an XML file so then we can save out the value and check it out inside of our folder. So to begin, I'm going to open up my flow graph and I'm going to snap that into place. I'm going to come into my entities and I'm going to grab the flow graph entity. So the first thing I know I want to do is actually get a token. So I'm going to go to mission because we're going to use several of these. And we'll do game token get. And I'm after the actual point token. So if I grab the point token, I know that I need to trigger this. And I need to trigger it a lot. So I'm going to go to Q, time, time. And I'm going to base this off of the ticks in the game. The next thing that I want to do is I want to set the token value. So we can go and get game token set. And I want to take the out value and trigger and go to the value as well. So I want to take the token, which is point, And I'm going to take the value and push that out. The next thing that I want to do is I want to check the value for a certain amount. So if I go to Q equal check, I can take this math node and I can feed out the out value into A and also check it. So this value right here I can choose independently. So I'm going to set that to 3 which will basically trigger this after I kill 3 of these human AI. Now we get into the XML document. So I'm going to close the mission. I'm going to come down to the bottom and there are quite a few XML nodes. The first thing I want to do is grab a new document. It's the very very first thing you do. And I say that on this equal check of true, I want this to execute. So now we've executed and we need to actually name it. You can keep it at root, but I'm going to call it tutorial sample. Something that's more unique. So now what I need to do is I need to create a child within this root. So if I go to new child and I drag this in, I can say, on success of this, I want you to execute the creation of a new child. And we'll call this one score. So now we've created a new child, but we also need to set the value after all of this to save it out. So I'm going to drop this down because we're going to taking the out value across. Let's open this up just a little bit. So if I go to save document, I can come in here and I can say on success of this, I do want you to execute this. But it needs to be executed through the set value. So if I go into the set value, I can execute on that and then I can query the value. Which is even more important because we need to feed this value from here. So now we're to the point of actually saving the document after all of these nodes. It wasn't too bad. So on success, I want to execute the saving of a document. The location is actually where your map is, so that's your level. And if I were to open the folder with that and what it contains, this is one for a future lesson, but another one called whatever we put here, it could be default if I just kept it at that. It would write it inside of your level folder. I'm going to go ahead and change this though. I'll change it to level tutorial. And I'm going to go through it one more time just to make sure that I have all of my tokens set. So that looks good. There's a point there equals to three. On that I want to create a new document with a root called this that has a child named score. And I want to set the value on the success of this. And once that is successful, I want to save the full document. So let's go ahead and create a new comment box. And we'll call this one write XML. We'll move this down just a little bit. Move this up into place. Put this to white. Pull this out a little bit.
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip this off and I'm going to put this down at the bottom so we can see it in real time. All right. So this is our right XML. And I have debugging on. I'm going to go ahead and press Control S just to make sure. And so what I want to do is I want to kill three of these guys and it should go all the way across and save the document with the value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control G. I'm going to jump in, kill that guy, that guy, and then that guy. So I have active token three, and it saved out the document. So if we now come over to our document, you can see that we have level tutorial. And if I were to open this up, you see that we have score three score. So this is exactly how you would write to an XML. In the next video, we're going to learn how to read the XML. And then the final one, we're going to work with attributes to store an index value and be able to reference that as well.